Blindsight, written by Peter Watts. One of the best aspects of sci-fi is its ability to span more than a narrative. Sci-fi can show you the changes humanity might face from lightspeed travel or show the effects of artificial intelligence. These concepts themselves are fascinating, but Peter Watts and Blindsight does an excellent job of adding a psychological element to these sci-fi concepts. <sighs> So what type of world does Peter Watts create in Blindsight? Peter Watts envisions a civilization of humans without lightspeed travel, but one where biological modifications and artificial intelligence coexist. Humans in this world change their memories by zapping their neurons or solve problems with the help of advanced AI. Some humans, like the main character Siri, are on the cutting edge of artificial and biological consciousness conjoined. The world Peter Watts envisions does include the spaceships of the future, but the real layers of world building is in the system design of our minds. Characters are often affected by their own neurology. For example, Siri Keaton suffers from severe seizures. Siri's parents, Jim Moore and Helen Moore, decided it best for Siri to have a radical hemispherectomy. Half of Siri's brain is removed and replaced with an artificial one. This act forever affects Siri and leaves him unable to understand or feel emotions. Siri adapts this change by finding logical explanations for his and others' actions. Actions. However, oftentimes this leads Siri to incomplete conclusions. This neurological change Siri experiences is just one example of the neurological phenomena that Peter Watts explores in this book. For example, the title itself refers to people who are suffering from cortical blindness. This person has no conscious experience of sight but is still able to avoid these objects. This changing of neurology speaks to our core, to what we are made of. Reflecting on the ideas presented, we see how the world of Peter Watts begins to develop within the mind. Pacing. The pacing of Blind Sight is very fluid. The amount of ideas presented is fresh and cerebral. The book does not overstay its welcome, and the characters get adequate focus. The book did have the potential to become Mystery Pox Pain, but thankfully, Peter Watts succeeds at keeping the story grounded in sci-fi and its plethora of concepts and not in repetitive reveals. Overall, this book succeeds. It's really fun. It's great enough that I try my very best not to spoil anything. Go read it. It really is a mind bender and a ton of fun. I didn't even mention the Chinese room argument or the psychopathy of vampires in this series. And yes, Blindsight delves not only into vampires, but does so in an actually exciting way. It's a bunch of great ideas combined into one book. It doesn't just make for great science fiction, but also makes for a great character story. It really is inspiring. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and please have a good day. Go read this book.